fish, 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 fish. Good one, good one. Oh, yeah. When it comes to pelagic fishing, <laughs> <laughs> then we have to then we have to catch some fish. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> what a start of a new episode, huh? Episode yeah. six. <laughs> two minutes two in minutes. the new episode. So welcome back to the last episode of Zender Pro 3. De omstandigheden voor de beslissing van Zender Pro 3 zijn als volgt. Team Rodas Fish en Team Relax delen de eerste plek in de strijd om de top 5 punt van vandaag. Team LMA bij Grunens heeft met een 74 cm lange snoepbaars de Big Fish punt van de dag in handen. Als we alle dagen bij elkaar optellen, zien we dat Team Rodas Fish op dit moment aan kop gaat met 4 punten. Maar achter hun jagen de andere teams als hongerige wolven op hun punten. Laten we nu teruggaan naar Team LMA bij Grunens. Sander Pro Season 3 is presented by JR Logistic, staffing and recruiting agency since 2004. Drev.se, service, spare part and utilities for your outboard and inboard boat engine. What a start, nice fish. We welcome you, we're gonna measure this and show you this beauty because it's a really good fish. Really, really good start of the final episode. That's wow. <laughs> what a what a nice fish. <laughs> That's a way to start an episode. <laughs> That's a way to start, yeah. <laughs> we just want to make the intro and then yeah. It's a 76. It's a, 76. Team LMAW Grunens begint deze laatste aflevering net zoals in aflevering 5 eindigde. En nu vormen ze een reële bedreiging voor de topteams. Snoebars nummer 4 voegt 76 centimeter toe aan hun lijst. En het is ook de nieuwe grootste vis van de dag. Wauw. Wow. How big was it? 70? 76. Wauw. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good job, good job. Good job. Dustin, are you ready for the final episode of Sander Pro? You see how ready I am. You're stuck. Team Chaos again. <laughs> but hey, I'm ready. I don't know how to say it in English, but in Germany we say there's a Rechnung offen. There's a bill we have to pay. And that's, <laughs> that's the, the bill. Big, no, that's a big one I lost. But you know, if we start this episode bad, we might end it good. That would be nice. <laughs> so cheer for us in this episode. Team Neistroft. We're gonna, chaos, yeah. aka chaos. We're gonna do the best uh, to catch one big sander and also four other quite big ones. Let's do it. Boom. We're fishing in a shallow area, similar to what we fished uh, early in the morning. Further out, as far as I can cast, it's about six to seven meters. And up here, it's about two, maybe one and a half meter. So we're trying to get the entire uh, drop and try to fish both shallow and deep water. Most of the strikes happened in uh, four to two meters of water and some of them even in 12 meters of water. So the only thing I can definitely say is that they're not in one meter of water, even though we caught one zander in how many days we were fishing here. And it's easier to stay in shallower water and cast to the deep. I start final episode with uh, my favorite lure, the Turbo Twister from Relax. It's like a fish finder for me. If where we cast, we have one zander, 100%, the zander take it. Okay, I hope to catch a few, a few more zander with this lure in this final hour, and uh, I hope to enjoy this uh, this episode. Ah, fish? Yes, great strike. But I think was uh, bass. So guys, final, final day. Get ready, hop on on board and uh, let's get some big ones. See you in a bit. Terwijl Herman en David alles aan het opstarten zijn, verbeterde team Rodas en Fish hun aantallen. Let's go, fish. Ja, nou, nou. Poisson. <laughs> Yes! Good start for episode 6. And a new one. Casting a black minnow. Perfect. Yes! Number 
Kitchen. <laughs> yes. Ooh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My rod is so sensitive that when I uh, I retrieve the fish, when the during the fight, I feel the the teeth on my leader. It's crazy. Yes, yes. Ouch. What a strike. This is a nice one. Big one, bigger one, not a big one. Just a bigger one. Cool strike. I don't think it's the same one because the other one felt smaller that I had the bite from earlier. Seems that we're doing a great job, Robert. Yes. You with the turbo, me with the bass. Great strike. So it's a 62. 62. Okay, I'll do a quick release. In my face. Woohoo! Nice ender, nice strike. I'm on, glad for you. On a 7 gram, Fudo jig, very sharp hooks and a very good lure for Xander. So the rods that we are using are Yasse LTD. Uh, these are specially designed for European Xander fishing. Um, there are two types. Actually, there's a medium, which is uh, Herman using. And I use the heavy one, which is 20 to 70 gram. Um, yeah, really stiff. You're gonna need that for those big ones uh, to get them out of the, the, the current and they're really sensitive so you can feel everything. It's 20 grams but I can feel 10 grams easily. Um, I paired it up with a Stella, the new Stella FK. Um, yeah, has lots of power, lots of drag force and uh, that's what I need for, for those big ones. So uh, I'm not gonna use any other rod, just this one because I'm only gonna use really, really big lures. Um, normally I use four or five inch but this time I'm really gonna go for big ones to get those big sander. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, how on? Big one? Uh, maybe. What does it mean maybe? 90? No. But... Uh, approved. Yeah, it's approved, I guess. <laughs> well, we caught one while it was still uh, some light here. Yes, take it. It's good. I was casted in the stream, Dusty. Yeah, same all the time now. Ooh, nice. That was a good strike. Cool. Quite long line. Cool. Uh, it should have been a little bit bigger. I don't think this fish matters at all. It's not big enough for being our top five. And the numbers, I don't think it's uh, going to happen for us. But still, uh, it's always fun to catch the first fish of the day. And that means that they might be active. So that's good. Nice, Toby. Quite swallowed the lure, even though it's not a too big fish. I think it's like 52 or something. It took the Venom with 20 gram jig head casting into the stream because I think they are at the moment quite deep. I think they're getting into the shallow water when it's getting dark. So that's why you need to fish further out when it's still daylight. And this one did it. The Venom in the color C05. And this is my favorite color for Sander. How long do you think it is? Uh, 49. I said 52, I think. Guess who's right? It's 52. Nice, big one. Do you get an extra centimeter if you guess the length right? No! Well, I'm gonna put it back and see if I can catch another big one. Or another that's big. Cast. Small one. Nothing? No. Flipping. Such a nice shallow fish. We had to take him with us. This way. It's 57. Bye bye. We have to think about if we stay here the whole night or if we. Uh, move to the other lake, as it was the plan, maybe. Uh, 
Do you think we should try what happens here in the first hour of the darkness? Or the first, first half an hour of the darkness? Yeah, we can, we can uh, try it, but then we really need to check the watch because if uh, we don't uh, get the big fish, we need to leave here right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. It's really risky, the plan. Uh, we need five fish over 80 today and one top fish over 90. Nice cast, nice cast. Okay. It's 15 meter in front of the boat on like four meter depth. Should be an active fish. Yeah, fish is reacting, it's coming. And it's gone. <laughs> crazy, huh? Yeah, crazy. The big ones are so smart. Yeah, yeah. Geen geluk voor Freddy deze keer. En dat betekent dat Christophe aan de beurt is om het te proberen. Oké, okay, coming. Ja. Yeah. Not a big one. You handle the fish, I go on fishing. Yeah. All right. Here's the next little Xander. Quite small fish again. 64 centimeters. I will hold the fish for Christoph. Whoop. When it comes to pelagic fishing, of course, you need the right gear to fish properly for big Xanders. Especially in uh, big waters, you can expect really, really fat ones with hard strikes. And of course, um, not only the lure is important, but also the rod. This is why we designed fitting into our pelagic range additionally to the drunk shooter, the shooter rod. It's a rod of uh, two meters length and a casting weight of 20 to 80 grams. Uh, a very fast, but also very light and very, very sensitive rod so that you can feel every like little nibbler on your rod. What we also did is uh, we made the split not in the middle, it's a two-piece rod, but we made the split right above the handle. The handle is a full EVA piece, so that it's non-slippery, because this is very important when you want to strike hard for big fish, because the mouths of a really, really big Xander are pretty hard, and you have to hook that fish right. So this is also a very important part here, full EVA, so that you have a very, very good non-slippery back handle to strike it very well. The rod itself has got a very sensitive tip, but then a very fast and very powerful backbone. Uh, it's got a cross winding through the whole rod, so that, it's, um, so that it's possible to have even more power in the backbone. Because when you have big fish, you don't wanna, you don't wanna fish only for Xander, sometimes you wanna fish pelagic style for a pike too in the midwaters, and when you find a really big fish, also a pike or something, then you must have enough power to fight the fish properly. So personally for me, this is the rod you need when you go pelagic style, when you go with bigger lures pelagic style and you want to fight big Xanders like we do. Come on, come on. Okay, but... Uh, fish out! Oh. Baboon number five, full paper! <laughs> yeah, man, you're right. <laughs> oh, full card. I think you guys should continue the whole evening. <laughs> yeah, Tim and I was just chatting about the rods and stuff like that, and then uh, he said, "Be aware, <laughs> watch out, watch fish. out. There's a fish coming in, and it's and not coming in. It's also coming out." Ah, he, he took a while. It, he really took me to play with him, mm. but at the end, I yeah. got him. <laughs> but in the end, we don't play. That could be. Mid 60 and 60, something like that. Yeah, really nice fish. All right, it's a 70. It's a really, really nice fish. Wow. Yes! <laughs> yes! Full what paper, a day. Man. Full paper and really paper. nice fish. Oh, he wants to go fast. <laughs> he really wants to go fast. Wow. Five fish and also decent ones. That's yeah, yeah. We have three over 70 already and it's not even dark. So, Enrico never wants to talk about feelings, but I need to say it, I have a good feeling. <laughs> I need to say it, I'm sorry. Rule number one on my boat, <laughs> don't talk about feelings. You know those days when somebody comes, step on your boat and says, ah, oh, today I have a really good feeling. That, that's the worst day that can happen, man. It's always, you know, it's always like fish are not biting, some, something crashes, whatever. 
But yeah, it's your boat. You can have your own rules. So ja. let's continue like that. <laughs> Daar komt de volle kaart voor Enrico en Johannes. Met 70 verse centimeters passeren ze Team Relax op het top 5 bord met een flinke marge. Ah, j'ai posé dessus, chameau. Oh, t'as vu la guerre? <laughs> wow, Underwood! <laughs> wow! I think it's small ones. Crazy. When casting, I saw a fish under the boat. I dropped my lure on it. It's going to take it. And another one <laughs> was whoo, quickly down here. A bing! But he missed it. So two fish interested, but zero <laughs> for Stefan. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. So this is the the example of what we can find in this lake. Very old village, houses, maybe church, <laughs> flooded by the water. But here we are in a pretty depth area, so we can fish only uh, pelagic uh, zanders because 13 meters it's it's uh, it's too much to to fish the zanders near the bottom. It's not a, a good way to catch them. Ouais. <laughs> Ah, décroché, décroché, à la frappe. Tony lost a, a nice fish. Missed, That's I missed it. that fish. That's it. Oh, crazy. T'as ancré Ah, yes. Yes. Good fish. It's a good one. 55, 65. So it remains uh, one hour of fishing, one hour, 20 minutes. So we will try 20 minutes here and then we will go to the last spot. Okay. Shit! Now I know where it is. <laughs> Somewhere in that area. Okay. Maybe I catch one more zander today. Strike like that. Reverse strike. Reverse, yes. Negative strike. <laughs> Maybe it's a small one. Again. I'll show you something. Now I'm ready to catch. Robert, I caught your fish. I'm sorry, really, really sorry. But not so sorry. You need help? No, it's okay. I got this one. I saw you weren't moving, so. Mm. <laughs> Robert had a couple of strikes in that area. <coughs> Therefore, I tried to catch his Xander. And think, you catch my Xander. I think this was it. This is a. 49. Okay. You want to move now? No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you for showing me where the fish are. We're on the first uh, spot now. Here's where we're going to start. We have fished for only the big point. We want to catch the big point. David caught here one of one of three. The other guys, the Pelagia guys, we think uh, they can win in the top five because it uh, could be difficult for us, but it's not uh, impossible. But we have to go all in for the big ones. And one big one, and it's okay. Okay, we are going to leave the water now. Uh, we will fish um, two hours in the next lake, and then we will come back here uh, to get the top five and the big fish point. So we will fill up the top five with hopefully some 80 plus fish on the other lake. And then we come back here to try to get a uh, 90 plus. Um, so we really hurry up. Christoph is running like a crazy one to the car, getting the trailer in. I drive the boat up and then we go. And we try to really, really be quick now with everything that we do uh, to be really efficient and time efficient. Soon it will be dark. So I change to my heavier rod, 70 gram and fish bigger Lewis, 20 centimeter plus. Um, I think I fish a pedit tail, the venom, um, 
20 to 25 centimeter because Toby is fishing the split so in no action shed it's important that we do two different things until we see which is really working um, the last days both work quite good but maybe today it's different so we try both things I start with a Venom 20 centimeter and then hopefully we get the first big Xander soon Toby? Yeah. Next spot? Yes. And the next spot we caught a 87 centimeter uh, Xander. It would be nice to catch it now as well. Of course, might be not uh, enough for the big fish point because everybody's fishing pelagic now. But for the top five, that's a really good fish. So let's get it, Toby. Preparing for the night fishing, uh, we will change definitely the color. Um, the transparent colors uh, we will skip and we will go for more contrast. So also here, um, same as night fishing for Xander from the shore, we have the color Purple Rave uh, that has two very, very different colors, a dark purple back and a very bright chartreuse belly. And the other one will be the natural color that's called Real Perch. This one has got a very shiny surface so that if you like turn it a little bit, it reflects more light. So these two colors, Purple Rave, and real perch will be our choice for the night. So it's the end of the day and uh, the end of Zonda Pro for Team Rodehouse and Fish. Um, about uh, half an hour of fishing left. So we are on the last spot. Last chance to, to get the last Zander of Zonda Pro 3. So let's do this. Nog één laatste keer aanzetten voor Team Rodaus en Fish voordat drie dagen vissen voorbij zijn. In Nederland hebben Freddy en Christophe hun eerste worpen gemaakt na het wisselen van water. En het duurt niet lang voordat ze de vis weten te vinden. Wat een bite. Het is niet een grote Maar het is nog een goede vis. Ja, het is oké. Vis, vis, vis. Kom maar. Het is niet een is zinking. Oké. Look at the 80. It is. Very nice fish. Go to, go to 80 centimeters yeah. under. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we came here. Nice. Ah, nice guys. Spot change. And right away 80 centimeter fish. We'll be really quick now. I think it's the best we have uh, during the yeah, competition. Some, some for Macht is the 85 fish, huh? Yeah. Oh, guys. Nice fish. Woohoo. Spot change. Okay. Fish. Christoph has a fish. It's man, it's 90. It's 90. Crazy. It's crazy. 90. You're a crazy guy. It's 90. This one is good as well. <laughs> good fish? Yeah. You ready? Who's the net? Born ready. The ready Freddy. Okay. <sighs> Thanks. I make free the net for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good, no? It's good. My training paid off, man. We just got a 90. It's crazy to get a 90 here. Okay, guys, next fish. Right after Freddy caught the fish and I lost one. Let's measure it quick and go on fishing, because they are on fire. 83. 83. Woohoo! Het verkassen loont meteen en twee hele mooie vissen veranderen het klassement volledig. 90 centimeter is nu de grootste vis van vandaag. En in de top 5 is op dit moment 375 centimeter. We have 11 minutes left and we need one more zander. To be super happy. To be happy. I'm happy with 19 as well. Yeah. I'd rather have 20, but... It was a good day. And we have fun. Yeah, really fun. Relax and fishing. Relax and fishing and really, really good strikes. It's been a really long time since I've had like these really good, powerful strikes. When I'm Zander not so fishing. happy. I must go home. I must to drive. 3,000 kilometers, maybe 3,800 3, to your yes. home. <laughs> Almost 4,000 kilometers. Yes, to knees and fire for the end of the day. <laughs> it's a suck. <laughs>
<laughs> he thought that it was not a fish at the beginning. He, he sent me, it's a sock. <laughs> it's like a sock. <laughs> it's like a sock. <laughs> so guys, last cast of Zander Pro 3. That was good, Tony. Yes, it But was maybe, good. But maybe, yeah. maybe a last fish. Yes. Maybe, maybe. A last fish. Oh, mist. <laughs> mist. Small bite. It's a joke. No, no. 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 <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's it, guys. It was very this good. Is, uh, this is the end of yes. Zander Pro 3. Yes. Uh, what do you think about the three days of fishing? Mm, it was good. Uh, as a goal, uh, it, it was uh, 13 fish. Uh, we have yeah. uh, 13 four fish. 34, yeah. It's uh, a good result. Today, I for think. the number point, we, we wanted to have more than 25, yeah. 30. That was the case all three days. So I, we were pretty happy of, of fishing. Yeah. Uh, right now, it depends on the other teams, um, but whatever, we, we did well, I think. We yeah. had a good time on the water and uh, it was uh, really, really cool. Yes, it was very cool. Uh, to end, uh, we would like to uh, do huge, uh, huge thanks to... Yeah, huge thanks, very huge, huge thanks. To Pedro, to Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. our uh, local friend. And, yeah. And he, do, he did so, so much for us, so yeah. thank you, Pedro. Thank you so much. Thank and, you, Pedro. Uh, Stéphane. Captain Simon. <laughs> and Stéphane, too. Stéphane did, did well, yeah. uh, too. So thank you, guys. And uh, for all... See you bye next bye. time. Bye Guys, bye. Take care. Will Rhodes. Ciao. One minute. Tuk, 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 tuk. No way. No freaking way. It's coming towards me. No freaking way. You take it? Yes. Oh my god. I lose it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good strike. <laughs> I think okay. this was the last fish of the no. day. Let's make together the last cast in Zander Pro. Are you ready? I'm ready. I almost the last cast the last in fish. Zander Pro. That's it, Andrew. Yeah, that's it. That's thanks for all. Thank you. This thank was you a well. this was a really good experience. Thank you. Difficult one, hard one, but uh, hardship is not always a bad thing. I think it's a you know it's an experience that you learn from and that hardens you on the, in the long run. But it's most important we have fun. We had really good fun today. Really, really good strikes. The yes. strikes today were like... Also phantom strikes. strikes. <laughs> Very good phantom strikes. <laughs> okay. We hope to follow us and enjoy our experience in Zander Pro. This was Team Relax for you, Andre Sava. And Robert Bond. Hope to see you again in a new episode We'll see about that. Ciao. Teams in Spanje hebben hun 30 uur vistijd achter de rug. Robert en André hebben het goed gedaan deze dagen, maar helaas zal het dit jaar niet genoeg zijn voor de overwinning. De koningen van de aantallenpunt, oftewel Team Roros en Fish, maken nog kans met hun drie punten. Maar dan moet iemand iets gaan doen aan Team Abu Garcia Berkeley die de snelheid in het donker opgepikt hebben. It's not just for you guys, the biggest fun what we just do. We do jigging. It's another idea. I hope so. I don't think so. Ah, no, it's not. It's an N70. But we have to remove them there as well to sort out the 80s. Small one on this spot, but nice action. Measure quickly, because right now it's an improvement. It's 75. And we release it quickly. Bye bye. Not a big one. Not a big one? No, oh, I don't think so. Let's see. Okay, you, my, you just continue. My bait is sinking, I can help you. It's kind of heavy. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Woohoo! 70. 79.
beautiful fish guys very happy about the, the fishing that is so so cool right now yes de wissel van water maakte een groot verschil voor Tim Abu Garcia Berkeley en opnieuw verbeteren ze hun scores. Met alle vissen boven de 70 centimeter zijn ze slechts 3 centimeter verwijderd van het doorbreken van de 4 meter grens. I'm a bit nervous because the next spot we are going to is the one where I lost this big fish last day and we caught several big fish in there. 82, uh, 92. Um, Toby caught an 82 during competition, so now Toby, we really need to be concentrated and catch this big one, okay? I agree Dustin, but I'm always concentrated. Mm. I'm not always catching the big one, but I'm always like 100% focused while it's competition. Swedish anglers are the best. Except when fishing in daylight, <sighs> in the Sunderper tournament. Then maybe it's a little bit like 90% focus sometimes, but During the night is always 100% focus. In Sanderpro Open Qualification, that was held live from Holland. Team Reinhold Bote won the first place and therefore secured their spot in Sander Pro Season 4. That is it. The tournament for the day is over. Rheinlands Bote have won the 5,000 euro prize here today. And not only that, they have won the right to compete next year in Sander Pro, the YouTube edition that will take place in 2024. It's been a tremendous weekend of fishing. If you and your team also want to compete and win a free entry ticket to Sander Pro Season 5, visit tournament at canalgradis.se and sign up for the next event and open qualification. Yeah, yeah, the oh. hook is out. Wow, he, wow, he really <sighs> penetrated to, this yeah. one. Wow, I played a lot with him to get him to strike. I didn't expect him that big, to be honest, because he really didn't um, fight that good. But yeah, with the strong rod, and when you reel up fast, sometimes they don't have time <laughs> to fight with you. But that's a good one. That's, of course, a really good one. Oh, yes. Boom! Wow! Oh, nice fish. Really fat one. Oh, I, I hope he don't shake. Check the back, please. Okay, all right. I'm 72. 72, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, 72. 72, yeah. Very good, man. <laughs> all right, so put this one back. Wow, so nice fish. I really love them. Ah. Yes. Very nice. Really good. 72. Wow, he really needed to get to wow. penetrate yeah. the fish. It's like really, really hard, hard, hard. First he swam away, swam hard away. Work. Then we found him, but yeah, he sw he came like four meters. But that, yeah, that's a good good thing with our bait. You just can slowly retrieve. And yeah. Yeah, and you still have movement yeah, in the yeah. back tail because it's it's kind of a a tail like a. Like craw. Like our craws have, you know, it's the same shape. And and these small small uh, tails here, they make like movements. Sometimes different directions to each other and sometimes like up and down like this. But it's really it doesn't good. matter how hot the important thing is that you have vibration. Okay guys. Everything good? 72 in the in the scoreboard. Yes. Let's go for another big one. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. You see guys, we fish pelagic, the boring stuff as someone would say, and then we do our the casting and we catch much bigger fish. And also for us, it's way more fun to do this. That's a good fish. Yeah. It's an 80. Yeah. <laughs> super, super. Good man. Nice, beautiful Xander. It's long, that fish. 82 approved. Oh, nice. Completely crazy fishing. Good fish? Yeah, I think so. Good. 
Ah, I had a fish as well. Good? Yes. Maybe 80. Huh? Maybe 80. It's 81. It's touching 81. 81. And I put it back fast, yeah? Yes, fish on. First fish on. Yes. Come on, baby. Nice. There she is. First fish. All right, guys. And the hook is already loose. Let's measure it real quick. 65 centimeters. The first hours were very, very tough. Um, now we tried shallow, the shallow spots, and they produce again. So, uh, yeah, really good. Let's uh, let's get the rack. Yes, yes. Come on. Fifty-seven. Another little zander. There you go. And a nice spike in my hand, but uh, yeah, well, that happens. Let's go for the big one. Oh, he just, uh, it wasn't a strong, uh, he uh, just pushed the lure, Yeah. but I felt, yeah, a bit of slack line, but that wasn't a bite. <sighs> Maybe even with a closed mouth. Just, just like last time, huh? Yeah. Didn't feel any hook on anything, just, yeah, really, just really push softly, it. yeah, yeah. Want to try another lure? <clears throat> nah, he's, no, no, he went down. He, they, to, they went for it, but yeah, I think they don't want to feed now. <clears throat> oh. I saw it in the line with the light. Just a bit up. Just up. Yeah. He pushed it. Up yeah, guys, great. you can see that it's not too easy. Not even if you can fish pelagic, uh, it's not 100% sure that you're going to catch like crazy, you know. Also, with this technique, you have to have a lot of skills and also like driving the boat properly. And then, of course, the zenders um, have to, to bite. bite. Yeah. <laughs> they need to bite. They, they need to be hungry, they need to be aggressive. Um, otherwise, you don't catch them, no matter what. You know, it's, this is also fishing, you know, it's, this is no magic, it's also fishing. It's part of the game. I had something. That was really weird. But it was definitely fish, but more like bait fishing. Oh, oh good, good fish. Let I'm here. Very good fish? Yes, uh, I'm not sure. Can, yeah, it can be. Shakes looks good. I don't think it's too big, but I don't think you it's is, too small either. With you, as always, oh, you think you have a huge one because you say, it's a big fish, big fish. It's a good fish, Toby. Ooh. It's a 70. But it's that's a, good. It's a 80. It's a 70. Uh, 70, but still. Take it, split. Oh my God, yes, yeah, split. Nice. <sighs> First fish. Oh, a second. First, yeah, the first fish in this episode, maybe? Yeah. No. First proper fish. That's true. Ooh, a little bit shaking. Nice strike? Yes, it was good strike and everything. So yeah, maybe they're getting active. Uh, yeah, I hope this will be the smallest one of our top five. Then we might have a chance to get the top five. I guess this under is 77 centimeter. What are you guessing, Dustin? I have to see it in your hands, then I tell you. Then I'll take it up. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. You're right. It's no, it's 75. Quite skinny. I think I need uh, maybe. No, I don't need a plier. No, I have it here. I bet it's fine. Okay. On there, it's 76. 76. Yes. Not too bad. It it was really fun. It fought hard and it was a good strike. So yeah. Now we have uh, five and a half more hours to get four more that's bigger than this. All right, fish! Is it good? No, I don't think it's too good. Ah, it's, it's okay. It was a good strike, but it's not too big. Good, still good. You want help? No. Should I continue fishing? Yes. Very nice strike. This is 65, maybe. He took the venom quite hard. Very aggressive strike. Uh, I was hoping for a bigger fish because here we had a 90 plus fish in the training. Lost a very big fish yesterday, but still, it's a start. 65 maybe, I will measure it real quick and then release it. 76, 
Is no, it 67, I'm sorry. Yeah. 67. I was like, is it that long? <laughs> I would like to have 76, but it's just 67. But very beautiful fish. Took it quite hard. I release it really quick. Goodbye, my friend. Whew. The first proper strike for me today. Such a monster. Not. But hey, I'm happy. Some action. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> nice man, nice man, that's so cool. <laughs> that was a fucking cool move. That was really cool. It's a good fish, huh? Yeah, I think, I think, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Well done, Christoph. <laughs> well, actually not so big, but... Not that big, we need it, but... It's still, still cool. Yeah. Great job. It is 78, so not an improvement, but very nice fish. Christoph, you know what? I think we can leave soon. Uh, we yeah. caught that average of 80 centimeter zanders in the top five in such a quick time. I think uh, Team LMAB, I'm quite sure they did not catch them that quick. Um, so we go back on the same lake where they are fishing because they are dangerous for us. They go for the big five and the uh, Top fish, yeah, and we, we need have to, to beat them in the same area. Here. And we need to beat them on the same area because yeah. here we uh, did the very best that is possible in the quick time. I mean, we fished like uh, yeah one hour or something only, and now it's really time to leave again yeah. and go back, guys. This is a crazy competition, really crazy. <laughs> this is so much fun, this fishing, and we have to stop now to do even better. That's sick. Got him. That's not not a big one, I think. No. Oh but yes, it is. Us. It is. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It is, man. It is. <laughs> not so big one. Yeah, said. our smallest is 68. So you know, it's. Yeah, this is better than 68, yeah, man. Yeah, but. <laughs> Come yeah, it's on. a good fish, but Come not the on. huge improvement. I, I really don't want to say that this is a small fish, but we have already really nice fish in our leaderboard, so that's, yeah, that's a nice fish, but... Oh no, not it's a not huge, that big. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, as I said, oh. <laughs> but it's a nice one. Maybe a few centimeters big. more. <sighs> Could uh, be. I don't think so. Yeah, uh, it's exactly, yeah, uh, it's, okay, then it's 69. We got a one one centimeter more. Yeah, man, one <laughs> centimeter. It's, you know. So a small improvement. We we released this one because it's really windy and we should not get too far away from here. Bam. Nice yes. job. Nice yeah, job. Thanks. It's really tough in this condition. Here's another one. And yeah, now it's dark. We switch to the real perch color to have more contrast than during the day. And yeah, bait is ready again. One centimeter improvement. Maybe it's important, you never know. You never, never know. Hope it All right, good job, Herman. Good job. And again, Herman fishing with the offset hook. It's 60, 60 centimeters. Nice fish. We need some bigger. First uh, few hours, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Finally, got a hit. So, the cop is a rough, say, yeah. we say in Holland. <laughs> now we can fish. <laughs> Let Let's it go. go. Yes. All right. In the net. Opa day. <laughs> yes. New lure. We're fishing. Switch to a five gram V tail. And yeah, again, our trick works, but you hover it above the rocks. Okay, how much? Yeah, 54. Let's put it back. We found him. Oh, I want, I want. Big one? I'm not sure. Sorry? No, it's not too big, but it's a fish. Should I net it? Yes, I think you should. It's a 60 fish at least, 65 maybe. Look, oh wait, 
It took right by the boat. Nice. Underneath. I wasn't vertical fishing, but I, I was like, okay, not underneath, but like five meters from the, from the boat. I was just about to retrieve the lure. Like, you know, I was fishing, yeah. fishing on the bottom. Yeah. And I was just about to retrieve it because I thought it was too close to the boat. And uh -huh. then it was just heavy. Oh, nice. Do you see how fat it is? It's super fat. Imagine this if it were with a meter sander. This one took the split. And yesterday I said that this one will be working quite good today. And I was right. Let's see how long it is. I think it's like 65. Oh, almost right. It is 64 centimeters, Dustin. Where are all the big ones go? I have no idea where the big ones are, but this one is uh, for sure gonna swim back. It's, uh, it would have been a nice meal, but I want them to grow bigger here so we can catch them in Sandy Pro 2027. Fish lost it! Good strike. No, it was just heavy, but very heavy. It's a new lure. Let me check. Not lure, is it? Split. I guess it was then, all right? Look, yes, I don't think like... you get... We have never caught a pike here in the night, except your 120. So it's either sand or 120 meter pike. <laughs> but at least they're kind of active. Oh, well. Big one? Uh, not, no. You do it on your own? Yes. But it was a good strike, at least. How big is it? Uh, 60. Maybe not. No, it's not even 60. It's 50. Yes. But still, they are here, Dustin, and they are biting now. That's I good. think the split really working today. Quite good. And this is our fifth sander. So I'm just going to put it on the measure board so we get the top five. <laughs> Full cut, my friend. Yes. <laughs> it is as much as oh, 53 centimeter. Nice, Toby. Please do double that size. <laughs> sure. Terwijl Dustin en Tobias hun top 5 vullen, heeft die Mabo Garcia Berkeley hun stekwissel gemaakt en kan de jacht op een echt grote snoekbars gaan beginnen. So we are back on the water. We did a super quick leg switch again. Uh, the last uh, four hours that we have, we are going to use only for really uh, big fish. And we are going to fish pelagic in the midwater. The big fish in the night, they are lifting up from the bottom. And uh, yeah, we try to find one of them. Going to fish with a big, sick vamper. It's one of the really best baits for pelagic fishing that we have from Berkeley. It's 22 centimeter long. And uh, yeah, the big zanders really love it. it they, uh, that lure has an action. It's making like a flanking action in the water if you move it with the rod. And also a nice tail whip, so it's just perfect. And uh, yeah, uh, we are going to search around a little bit. It's a big water. They can be everywhere. The Zanders trying to locate them, them and trying to catch them as well. For the pelagic fishing, we have a really nice rod. A lot of people always ask me, what kind of rod do I need for pelagic fishing? Uh, it's one of the most asked questions that I get on Instagram. I use a Spike X from Abu Garcia. It's a rod that is specifically made for that fishing. It's 6.3 foot long and um, it's uh, up to 70 gram casting weight. It's a really nice rod. It has a lot of backbone, but it's still not too stiff, so you still have good fun fishing it. Yeah, try that out. I fish it with a Revo Ike reel, but as I said many times, Abu Garcia reels, the bait cast reels, all of them are really great. And uh, you can just choose what you like and, um, and use it for that style of fishing. The reel is not so important. Um, it's more the rod that is really important. It needs to be strong. You want to set that hook, so that's a cool rod. Try it out. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go, big fish. That's a good fish. Fucking net. You ready? No, this is net. Is, yeah, it's a really big fish. Yeah. It's a 90 plus center. I can feel the teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yes! Send the pro! <laughs> Great job, 90 centimeters. Yeah. It, this is really teamwork. When you take out a fish like this out of the net, make sure to hold it a bit under the belly. Look at this one, Freddy. It's our fish. Come on the photo. Awesome fish. Yeah, super nice. Okay, beautiful quick measurement. Okay, guys, you can see it. It's a 92 centimeter zender. Team Abu Garcia Berkeley is tot nu toe uitstekend bezig vanavond. En nu kunnen ze een 92 centimeter aan hun lijst toevoegen, wat ook de nieuwe topvis is. De achtervolgende teams raken steeds verder achter op de top 5.
last cast. Yeah, and then go to the next crib. Yes. And then I think this was the last one, which was Yes, good. it is. Or two more, I don't know. Oh, oh fuck! That strike was insane! That was the hardest strike I've had the, during this tournament. F***ing, what a strike! Now I'm swearing a lot, but that was insane. It was like, boom! Don't know what I'm doing for wrong. Probably nothing, but that can't be a small fish. I'm not saying it was a meter sander, but it was not a 55 centimeter. Let's see if the stinger is still there and everything. That's super weird. Maybe it didn't feel the hook and can take once more. We'll see. Our one. Big one? Nope. It's a fish. Yes. Did, didn't even feel the bite. Maybe it's an upgrade. Yeah, I think it is, but you know. <laughs> it will not help us anyhow. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Oh, it's just barely hooked. Let's see how long it is. Quick. I think the smallest one we have right now is 52 centimeter. So let's check if it's longer or not. And it is longer, but not by much. It is a whopping 55 centimeters. So an upgrade, but I don't think it matters. We need to have fish that's like 10, uh, 20, 30 centimeters longer than this one. So I'm gonna put it back. Uh, yeah, I changed again to my uh, trusted uh, V-tail here. And uh, yeah, another fish, 54 centimeters. We need a bigger one. <laughs> ah, it's nice, always nice to have a, a good strike, solid strike. Plums, come on, let's go. Yeah. Come, 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 come. No, 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 no! Come on! Sorry, guys. No problem. But <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yeah, after searching so long for one big sander, and then finally found him, got him to bite. Losing yeah, but we're on a good stretch here. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's more fish over here. But, ah. Yeah, we're gonna get one. All right. Very shallow, eh? I saw your cast it. Yeah, very shallow. All right. Another fish from the shallows. Um, let's measure it real quick and continue casting for a big one. Yeah, right. Another upgrade, 62 centimeters. Let's get it back and hope for a bigger one. <laughs> I love it. I love the underfishing, especially at night. You don't see anything, you don't have any uh, distraction, just you and the rod and the strikes that come so hard, especially when you're hovering it like we do. It's, it's uh, actually like pike fishing, cranking, uh, which most people don't do, they, they just classical, they do classical jigging, but uh, we do uh, this, we, yeah, we found out that this, uh, this is working, oh, the geese are making noise, hi geese, okay, let's go. There are some active fish here at least, but I don't think they are big. I don't get any f strike in the front, let me come to the back please. That's Ooh. a good one. Good one? Uh, it might be hooked in the side or something, but it was a good strike. Uh, now it's a. If this is uh, hooked correct, it's a nice fish, Toby. Yes. Oh, f that's a very big fish. It's. What the f? What is happening? It's heavy. I don't see anything. It's a big, <gasps> big pike. No, oh. man! Uh, I can't get it in. Uh. Thank you, Toby. Sorry, it was. It was a 120 pike. No, it was not. But it, it was. It was 120. Uh, it was not fighting like a pike. I thought it's a zen because it was going down and was. I think you need a new hook. It was easily 120. I think it could have been my personal best. I'm sorry, Dustin. It's an upper, so I don't care. Oh, 
shallow, shallow, shallow. Right yeah, under the boat. Crazy shallow. Next 90 plus fish in the boat. Here 90 plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. This is so much fun. It's not boring pelagic fishing. Wow. Nice fish. 93. <laughs> 93. Third fish over 90. On casting and on pelagic. We can do both. Today we can do both. Cool. Het wordt steeds moeilijker voor Team Abu Garcia Berkeley om hun top 5 te upgraden, maar ze slagen er toch in. Opnieuw vangen ze een nieuwe topvis en geen van de andere teams komt ook maar in de buurt. De zes grootste zoekbaarsen van de dag zijn allemaal gevangen door Freddy en Christophe. Met nog minder dan een uur van de wedstrijd te gaan, is het tijd voor de teams om nog één keer alles te geven. Het is niet een maand, dus we zijn naar voren, maar we hebben een hit weer. Mooi. Hij gaat crazy. Yeah. Fatty. Nice. Fat fish. Good nice, fish. Hermie. Nice one. Yeah. That's an upgrade. <laughs> you can say that again. I did something completely different. Uh, I cast over the the crib. Oh. 70. Exactly. We got an upgrade. Happy with this. I put on another color. Same method. And bam. I. Uh, Yes, nice one, Herman. Yeah, I put it on, Good on job. over the over the crib. Yes, and then I let it let it slowly go down. I think he was laying on the crib, on the top of the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy with it. Good job, man. Thank you, man. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy with it. What is this? A great fishing. River fishing is super. <laughs> great man. Happy. I'm a happy man. So guys, what we're now gonna do the last hour, uh, Herman is really master at uh, vertical fishing. We now covered all the shallow spots here. We know the fish are there, but they may be a little bit deeper. So he's gonna do vertical jigging and I will be trying some more classical jigging uh, with uh, a little bit heavier, 18 grams. So we're more in the current and in deeper spots and hopefully we'll find a big one there. I think for more than one hour we had not a single bite, that's why I sized up a bit with my lure, um, 25 centimeters. Sometimes, uh, sometimes this is the key, sometimes also downsizing is good, but I have to say, hard fishing, eh? we had such a good training and then during competition, the last two days, it's been really, really tough. But that's fishing, what to do. Um, hopefully we can catch this one big fish today. And if we are really lucky, three big fish to have a nice top five. But I think our target should be to be to catch this one monster. Through that, Dustin, and I'm going to do what I've done the whole day. I'm going to keep on fishing this nice split. Because I think, since kind of nothing is working at the moment, I'm going to use something that I know should work. So when the bite period comes, I'm going to be using this one that I think they like. Fish? You want net? No! F it was a good one, as you see. Uh, it was a new lure. I oh, know it was not a new lure. It was a pike lure. It just changed again. Yeah, it was a nice fish. It was a heavy fish. Happens. It's not our day today. Or yesterday. Or yesterday. <coughs> or the day before. But hey, what can we do about it? Toby, huh? At least we had fun. Yeah, it's always fun to catch these sander because it, their bite is really what's the most fun with them because they're super hard. Sometimes it really feels like they're gonna uh, take the rod away from your hands in the bite. Was it like that on this sander? No. It just was heavy something. Yeah, I had a, I had a small bite and then it was, but it was very heavy fish, so not as heavy as the one yesterday, but it was not a not a 60 or something, you know. Well, there's still some time, Dustin. Yes, some adrenaline. It was not too bad. Are you uh, warm again? Yes, now I'm warm again. Oh, big one? Yes. Big, big? No, not too big, but... Oh, it's... I thought it was bigger, but... You need a net? No, I'll take it. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I thought it was bigger. <laughs> it felt big in the beginning. Oh, fish is fish. Wow, it, it has some cool uh, markings, at least. Fish number seven. Yes, lucky number seven. See here, white on one side, black on one side, black and white. Let's see if it's an upgrade. I think maybe it is actually. Not was it a good it strike, Toby? Yeah, it was a good strike. Not that it matters. We have seven more minutes, so I think I have to hurry. Uh, let's see if it's, yeah, yeah, it's a notch, yeah. This one is 55, so it's an upgrade with, I don't know, like two centimeters. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can catch another one. Otherwise, otherwise this will be the last fish for Team Nays, this tournament. <laughs> I told you it will come. Yeah, <laughs> I told you it will come. It's not that big, but it's. Oh, I told you it will oh, come. So I told got. you it will come. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's a nice fish. Oh, it is. At least one, one last nice fish, maybe. We have a few minutes left, so oh yes. It's not not that big, but it's it's a really really nice fish. It is. Oh, it's so barely hooked, only on the stinger. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a nice one. Right, that's a nice fish. <laughs> oh. That's a nice fish. Man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, Good thanks. Job. Thanks. So let's smash this one. Is it? Yeah, 75. Oh. <laughs> They're so explosive, man. Oh, 75. <sighs> what a relief. So, guys. You see me with this tangled hook in the net. Beautiful lure, very, very effective. It's called drunk shooter because we have a big variety of the drunk bait family and this is one of them. Johannes and Enrico met an upgrade die hun een stapje dichter bij de score van Team Abu Garcia Berkeley brengt. De klok tikt razendsnel en met meer dan 70 centimeter verschil op hun top 5 zal het heel lastig worden om die punt nog te pakken. Maar voor de Big Fish punt is er maar één aanbeet nodig om de score te veranderen. Go, took it. Got it. Phoenix. That's a good one, that's a good one. There he is! is! Yeah. Boom! <laughs> yes! So now we hurry up because... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, maybe they're in a move now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> now it's getting intense. Wow, that's a good fish. That's 80. Yes! Wow, bit ugly <laughs> there. But that's that's a long one. That's 80. And here he is. <laughs> Look at this thing! Yes! <laughs> yes! Man, it's really ugly. Yeah, it's really, really <laughs> ugly. Ready enough for the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's an 80. Yes, 80, 84. Is it? Yeah. 84. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, one short. <laughs> Look at this beautiful fish! <laughs> yeah. So nice! Now we go. Boom! Yes! That was so tough today. Yes. Why uh, must it always be the last day? Fly versus jerk, last day. Perch Pro, last day. Zender Pro, last day. And not just, I mean, every time. First season, second season, th third season. One more minute, Dustin, then it's over. I think 20 more seconds. Yeah, maybe half a cast. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. That was it. Zender Pro, season three. Ah. Uh, it has been a really tough competition this year for us. The worst uh, Zender Pro season we had. But at least we had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun as well. If I should make a guess, I think Team Fish Rothaus won Zender Pro season three. Always funny, always fun to watch you. Um, Toby, are yeah. you starting to sing now or what are you doing? <laughs> 
Relax. <laughs> no, now it's your turn no. to sing. Take it easy. <laughs> There's no I'm singing like I was fishing today, definitely. Oh, well, yeah, you showed them the monster first season. Not our turn this time. It is what it is. We did everything we could. See you next year. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen from Team Neistroft. Man. Hey, it was so a pleasure to fish with you, man. Good job. Oh. Um, what can we say? Of course, we want to thank our sponsors, LMAB course, and yeah. Gundanes. We want to thank all the guys helping us out, finding spots, practicing together with us on different boats. Um, of, of course, course we want to yeah. thank you guys for watching, and for cheering, for, cheering and... for wishing us luck. And uh, we hope to see you next year in Xander Pro 4. And yeah. Johannes, it was awesome fishing with you. Thank you. It was much fun. <laughs> we always had a good time. Yeah. We had a good mojo on the boat. We had some beautiful fishing days. Yeah. We had some nice fish. Hope to see you next year. We are out, over and out. For this time. For this time. But so. not forever. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks. Our adventure has come to an end. We had a great time together fishing. Yeah, I learned a lot from you as well. I learned a lot from you. Yeah. You went it was great. We were a great thing, I yeah. think. I hope you thought so too. And uh, yeah, we want to thank our sponsor. What an experience. Thank you, thank you, Shimano. Yeah, Shimano. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, maybe till next time. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. <sighs> Freddy, man, that's it. Fucking awesome fishing day. Very, it was very so, well done. It was yeah. so cool. Yeah, we yeah. had so much fun today. Not no. only today. No. It was fun at all. All and, the days. Uh, I think we had a good fishing yeah. all the time. Yesterday, the shore day, was not the best day for we us. We had 280 fish. We had fish, two like, nice fish, but yeah. uh, that was good as well. Yeah. Just the numbers but we didn't have. But, not uh, exactly what we no. what True. we planned and wanted to. Yeah. But we didn't train that much for the shore, so. That was okay for us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the other teams did today. I think we probably have the top five point. Big fish, so. big fish point, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. maybe yes. Know. 93 is our top fish, but also yeah. like uh, Nace or Shimano or also of LMAB, course. they can all have a bigger fish. Yeah. So the top five, uh, five fish, uh, I'm quite sure that we have it. Yeah. We have such Me a good, too. almost uh, yeah, end 80 average, yeah. almost 90 average. That's yeah. really good. And. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Yes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you could uh, get some uh, maybe information about the Zander, some learnings. Um, that's also important for us that you enjoy watching us and have a good time. We tried to show as much as possible. We did uh, jigging on small fish, we did jigging on big fish, yeah. we did pelagic, we did short fish. All different techniques because I think, I personally think if you manage all of the different techniques, that's really cool, it's really fun. I've, for me, I always want to learn new techniques and new stuff, and I, I, I think everything is interesting. You don't do only pelagic fishing, you do also shore fishing, also casting, and the mix of the different techniques makes it complete, in my opinion. So, guys, bye-bye. See you next time. See you maybe next year. Bye-bye. Gedurende zes afleveringen hebben we Swirrels beste snoepbaarsvissers kunnen volgen in een aantal van de beste, mooiste omgevingen van Europa. Vandaag hebben we Christophe en Freddy gezien die hun pure klasse hebben laten zien met 440 cm op de top 5. Drie vissen boven de 90 cm met als topvis 93 cm. Als het gaat om de aantallenpunt is er nog een team bijzonder goed geweest. Voor de derde dag op rij neemt Team Rodhouse en Fish de aantallenpunt mee naar huis met hun 34 goedgekeurde snoepbaar. Wat betekent dat Stefan en Tony dit jaar met hun drie punten op de tweede plaats eindigen. Fischen. Sorry. Thank you. Good luck. Dat betekent ook dat we de eer hebben om voor het tweede jaar op rij de Zender Pro kampioenen Team Abu Garcia Berkeley te feliciteren. This is so much fun. Nice fish. Look at this one, Freddy. It's our fish. Super nice. Het taaie tweede dag werd gevolgd door een fantastische slotdag waarop Freddy en Christophe hebben laten zien dat hard werken uiteindelijk loont. Een grote felicitatie van ons bij Kanal Gratis aan Team Abu Garcia Berkeley, die zichzelf voor het tweede jaar op rij Zender Pro Kampioenen mogen noemen.
We hopen dat jullie genoten hebben van dit seizoen Zender Pro. Er komt al een nieuw seizoen aan, dus zorg ervoor dat je je abonneert op dit kanaal, zodat je het volgende seizoen van Zender Pro of een van onze andere toernooien niet hoeft te missen. Dankjewel voor het kijken en tot de volgende keer.